each night. The stars go out each night. Remind us where you are. Remind us where you are. Let us be at prayer. When shadows fill our day. Morning. Indeed, this is a sad, very sad day. To those who are standing in the yard with the police turn off the cell phones and put it on silence in honor of the family. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me to morning. Indeed, this is a sad, very sad day. To those who are standing in the 
in the yard. Would you please turn off the cell phones and put it on silence in honor of the family? Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me toward my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. For thou art with me. For thy anoint my me, thy my rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness, surely goodness, and mercy shall follow me all the days of thy life. Dying, Christ destroyed our death. Rising, Christ restored our life. Christ will come again in glory. As in baptism, Walter J. Jenrat put on Christ. So in Christ, May Walter J. close with glory. Here and now, dear friends, we are God's children. What we shall be has yet not been revealed. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Those who have this Hope purify themselves. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, shall they live. And whosoever live, and believe in me shall never die. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I die, I die and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I am, and I hold the key of hell and death because I live, you shall live also. Friends, we have gathered here to praise God and to witness to our faith, to witness to our faith as we celebrate the life of Walter J. Jenrette. We come together in grief, acknowledging our human loss. May God grant us grace that in pain we may find comfort and sorrow, hope, in death, resurrection. At this time, we will have the old, or oh, at this time, we will have a prayer by yours truly. After that, we'll have the Old Testament reading, and then I will come back with the New Testament. The Old Testament is, is reading at this time. lift up my eyes unto the hill. From where cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor flee. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord 
is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. May the family find comfort in these words in the hour of bereavement. Amen. It is with deep sympathy that we stand here reading the New Testament. As I read the obituary, Walter J. was a loving person. And it's not on the program for me to say that, but when you know someone is a child of God, you got to give a little shout out. And he was because his name, he called him Bubba. Called Bubba. That, that's a sign of love because they gave him a nickname. But I'm going to come this morning with a New Testament from 1 Corinthians chapter 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, excuse me. Starting at verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible and this model was put on immodel. So when this corruptible shall come, put on incorruptible, and this model shall have put on immortal, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of the sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always, a bond in the work of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Uh, excuse me, I omit the prayer of the invocation and I guess I was so confused. But let me do the invocation at this time and then we will come back with a musical selection. There has been a change to the word of comfort Apostle Stafford will bring us the word of comfort this morning. Apostle Stafford will bring us the word of comfort this morning. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father God, we come this morning. Lord, these are mornings, this type of mornings, one that we don't look forward to. But God, you know how heavy our heart is. Lord, we pray that you will Bring this family close together so they can lean on each other in time of crisis. And even though this is the home going, the day of home going, but there's two more home goings that they have us faced. This will be a first day, first year without Walter at Thanksgiving table, at the Thanksgiving table. And it's going to hurt. It, it, it's going to be hard for the family to Watch around the television and the football games and Walter isn't there. We actually give them strength during that holiday, family holiday. 
Well, Lord, bring them together on that day called Christmas. Realizing that they're going to go through this all over again because this will be the first year, the first Christmas without Walter. Oh, Lord, wrap your arms around each one of them. Wrap your arms around his wife, his children. Let them know. Let them know that Jesus can fix it. He fixed it for me one day. Oh, they are God. You sit high and you look low. Be with them right now, Lord. You've been with the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. You've been with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Be with them right now, Father God. It's a hurting time, Lord. It's a very hurting time. Not for long emotional prayer. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, Mary baby, the rose of chariot, be with them. These and other blessings we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say amen, 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 amen. amen. and amen. At this time we'll have a musical selection and followed by the reflections of life.
this time, uh, Reflections of Life, uh, Mr. Daryl Ward, in-laws, followed by Ms. Samantha Jenneret, daughter, and Mr. Walter Stuckey, cousin, and Correct, Melissa Jenneret, sister. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, family and friends. Amen. Amen. Because everyone that is here was either a, is either a family member or a friend of Walter, because that's what he was to each one of us. Amen. Amen. He was either a family member or a friend. And I want to be quick. I want to take up too much time. But I just think about. These things never get easy when you come to speak about your loved one and the times that you spent with them and you start thinking about the good times that you had. And the good always outweighs the bad. And I remember being with Walter, I always felt safe because he never took me to a place where I would be in a place of harm never not one time i remember we were out and as soon as we walked in the club we was out at a club and as soon as we walked in he found the exit because he already knew that it was a possibility that something could happen that night and it did and we headed for that exit and we made it out safely Amen. Amen. I'll leave you with this. Days, weeks, months will never be the same. Heal at your own speed, at your own pace. Do what you need to do to heal. Remember him and the way that you know how the way that God gives it to you because you had your own personal relationship with Walter I called him Big Walt I know the family called him Bubba he always said his house was my house when I got there and that's how he always treated me now that we feel these winds of change coming upon our lives I pray that God heals us all in his time. Amen? Amen. 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 We always had to drive a couple hours to get to our family. But this time, the doctor said, come on down. Y'all get here, we're going to take the medicine off. It's going to be 30 minutes. He's going to be gone. My daddy wasn't that kind of person. Got to about minute 31, he looked at the nurse. He was like, well, I got to wait till it gets to zero. I'm ready to go. My mama said, well, Walter, I don't want you to leave yet. You got to hold on to that because what he told you, he said, Margaret, I got to go. I'm ready to go. I had a daddy when I was 25. I had a daddy when I was 26. 
couple weeks ago and I turned 27. <laughs> well, my sister turned 25 next month. She won't have a daddy. So I just need y'all to be there. Right now, this ain't when we need nobody. <laughs> when it get quiet, when my mama walking through her house that she shared with him for over 20 years, that's when she gonna need somebody. Class of 2012, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all and I thank y'all for everything y'all done. Family, everybody, everything that was genuine, I appreciate y'all and I thank y'all. That's all I gotta say. my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. For thou art with me. For thou anoint my me, thy my rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of thy life. Dying, Christ destroyed our death. Rising, Christ restored our life. Christ will come again in glory. As in baptism, Walter J. Genret, put on Christ. So in Christ, yes. may Walter J. close with glory. Here and now, dear friends, we are God's children. What we shall be has yet not been revealed. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is those who have this hope purify themselves Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life those who believe in me even though they die shall they live and whosoever live and believe in me shall never die I am Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end the first and the last I die I die and behold I am alive forevermore and I am and I hold the key of hell and death because I live, ye shall live also. Friends, we have gathered here to praise God and to witness to our faith, to witness to our faith as we celebrate the life of Walter J. Genret. We come together in grief, acknowledging our human loss. May God grant us grace that in pain we may find comfort in sorrow, hope, in death, resurrection. At this time we will have the old, or oh, at this time we will have a prayer by yours truly. After that we'll have the Old Testament reading and then I will come back with the New Testament. The Old Testament is, is reading at this time.
Old Testament scripture reading. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill. From where cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor flee. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. May the family find comfort in these words in the hour of bereavement. To the family, it is with deep sympathy that we stand here reading the New Testament. As I read the Capuciary, Walter J. was a loving person. And it's not on the program for me to say that, but when you know someone is a child of God, you gotta give a little shout out. And he was because his name, he called him Bubba. Called Bubba. That, that's a sign of love, because they gave him a nickname. But I'm going to come this morning with the New Testament from 1 Corinthians chapter 16. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, excuse me. Starting at verse 51. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruptible, and this model must put on immortal. So when this corruptible shall come, put on incorruptible and this mortal shall have put on immortal then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory O death where is thy sting O grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin, and the strength of the sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always a bond in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Uh, excuse me, I omit the prayer of the invocation and I guess I was so confused. But let me do the invocation at this time and then we will come back with a musical selection. There has been a change to the word of comfort. Apostle Stafford will bring us the word of comfort this morning. Apostle Stafford will bring us the word of comfort this morning. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father God, we come this morning. Lord, these are mornings, this type of morning is one that we don't look forward to. But God, you know how heavy our heart is. Lord, we pray that you will 
bring this family close together so they can lean on each other in time of crisis. And even though this is the home going, the day of home going, but there's two more home goings that they have us faced. This will be a first day, first year without Walter at Thanksgiving table, at the Thanksgiving table. And it's going to hurt. It, it, it's going to be hard for the family to watch around the television and the football games and Walter isn't there. We actually give them strength during that holiday, family holiday. Yeah. Well, Lord, bring them together yeah, on. on that day called Christmas. Realizing that they're going to go through this all over again because this will be the first year, the first Christmas without Walter. Yes, oh, Lord, wrap your arms around yeah. each one of them. Wrap your arms around his wife, his children. Let them know. Let them know that Jesus can fix it. He fixed it for me one day. Oh, they are God. You sit high and you look low. Be with them right now, Lord. You've been with the three Hebrew boys in the fiery furnace. You've been with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Be with them right now, Father God. It's a hurting time, Lord. It's a very hurting time. Not for long emotional prayer. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, Mary baby, the rose of chariot, be with them. These and other blessings we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Let every heart say, Amen. 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 And amen. At this time, we'll have a musical selection and followed by the reflections of life. Morning is coming. 
Just hold on to Jesus. You can ride out your storm. Time uh, reflections of life, uh, Mr. Daryl Ward, in laws, followed by Miss Samantha Jenneret, daughter, and Mr. Walter Stuckey, cousin, and Correct Melissa Jenneret, sister. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, family and friends. Amen. Amen. Because everyone that is here was either a, is either a family member or a friend of Walter, because that's what he was to each one of us. Amen. Amen. He was either a family member or a friend. And I want to be quick. I want to take up too much time. But I just think about. These things never get easy when you come to speak about your loved one and the times that you spent with them and you start thinking about the good times that you had. And the good always outweighs the bad. And I remember being with Walter, I always felt safe because he never took me to a place where I would be in a place of harm never not one time i remember we were out and as soon as we walked in the club we was out at a club and as soon as we walked in he found the exit because he already knew that it was a possibility that something could happen that night and it did and we headed for that exit and we made it out safely Amen. Amen. I'll leave you with this. Days, weeks, months will never be the same. Heal at your own speed, at your own pace. Do what you need to do to heal. Remember him in the way that you know how the way that God gives it to you because you had your own personal relationship with Walter I called him Big Walt I know the family called him Bubba he always said his house was my house when I got there and that's how he always treated me now that we feel these winds of change coming upon our lives I pray that God heals us all in his time. Amen? Amen. 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 We always had to drive a couple hours to get to our family. But this time, the doctor said, come on down. Y'all get here, we're going to take the medicine off. It's going to be 30 minutes. He's going to be gone. My daddy wasn't that kind of person. 
Got to about minute 31, he looked at the nurse. He was like, well, I got to wait till it get to zero. I'm ready to go. My mama said, well, Walter, I don't want you to leave yet. You got to hold on to that because what he told you, he said, Margaret, I got to go. I'm ready to go. I had a daddy when I was 25. I had a daddy when I was 26. A couple weeks ago when I turned 27. <laughs> well, when my sister turned 25 next month, she won't have a daddy. So, I just need y'all to be there. Right now, this ain't when we need nobody. <laughs> When it get quiet, when my mama walking through her house that she shared with him for over 20 years, that's when she gonna need somebody. Class of 2012, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all and I thank y'all for everything y'all done. Family, everybody, everything that was genuine, I appreciate y'all and I thank y'all. That's all I gotta say. bless the Lord on today. I said, truly, we bless the Lord on today. I didn't ask Amen. you to bless me, but I said, truly, we bless the Lord on today. Amen. Okay. I'll be coming from Ecclesiastic, the third chapter, the first through the eighth verse. There is a time for everything and season for activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time to war and a time for peace. And I believe that today is the day to come for peace. I didn't come to be nobody's friend. Let me explain that to you first of all. all right. I have my own Pope and Murder Beach that I can be behind. So what I come to do is not to talk about water because water has passed and gone away. And when I ask God to give me something for water, God said water life speaks for water self. Amen. So there's nothing I'm here to tell you today about water. But what I'm here to tell you today is, today is the day for peace. And if many don't know what peace is, I ask you after service to go and take that time out with God and to realize what peace is. Because the circus show is over. And I ain't built for this. And I ain't no pushover. So I'm going to tell you before you size me up, you better be careful. I don't play with witches, 
And I dare not play with warlocks. No day. So this ain't what you want. And this is your season to embrace the power with authority. And if I don't reach nobody else, I'll reach the wife. We have to learn that some things we don't have to have no control over. All right. We have to learn that some things is just the will of God. We have to learn that there's respect along with everything. And we have to also know that when tables are turned, are you willing for that table to land in your lap? Are you willing to receive the hands that you dish out? Yeah, it's time to learn order. Because order have left the church. Yes. Order have left leadership. Yes. And I sat and I stand and I listen to everything nicely. Nicely everyone had to say about Bubba. But Bubba don't have no more questions to answer. If God was to come now, everything that you did this week, can you make it in? I ain't come to put Bubba in heaven, neither hell. Because that's not my job. There we go. But as an apostle, I praise correction. Whether you like it or not. But can you make it in heaven? Can you say what you did this week would please God? I don't care how much degrees you got. You ain't getting into heaven with a dirty heart. Amen. You ain't getting into heaven backbiting. You ain't getting into heaven not doing what God said do. And that's to love one another and respect one another. And I don't, I don't have no disrespect for no one. But I'll say this and I mean what I say. And I won't apologize to what I say. Because I have that right to say it. I was asked to speak. Right. It's levels to things. And in this season, you have to learn that. Sister Generate, your enemies today won't be your enemies tomorrow. I believe God for that. God come to speak life. It's time for you to live. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Disrespect happened long enough. Ooh, I don't know y'all and I don't care to get to know y'all because none of y'all could be my friend. All right. At the end of every day. And I ain't never Lord. shook. Because if y'all treated me the way y'all disrespected her, y'all can't answer God to say y'all did right. Amen. Disrespect been done long enough. Oh, God. It's time out for you to be quiet. This is your season to speak. This is your season to talk. This is your season to live. Death comes to all. But I promise you this, it's time for you to live. It's time for you to be free. And you ought to dance like David because that's the season also that we have to go in a season to dance. And I will dance like David and I'll show them witches and warlock. They have no authority over here. I'll show them witches and warlocks. Not one thing they did shall work not another day. I'll dance like David. Mourning and suffering comes to all. But I want you to know that on this day, the hands that you dealt, the hands that you give out, Suffering is only for a little while. I promise you it's only for a little while. Oh, but God is coming after a while. You have to give an account for what you did. As a wife, let me explain that. That's the first voice. Because many of y'all don't know that. And I dare you to say something to me. You need to know your place. Because if this is his wife, if this is his wife, you don't have no right doing things that's not of the will of God. You have no right going against the will of God. Because God ordained marriages. Know your place. Because as a wife, you wouldn't want nobody to disrespect you. You better speak, Apostle. But when God laid at your table, I hope you can wear it. Oh, and this ain't voodoo over here, baby. This God. Size me up, I try you. I dare you to try me. That's how much power and authority that I got. And that's how much I'm going to store in you. Oh, you won't need the fake love no longer. You won't need the fake conversations no longer. Oh, I will pour into you what God wants you to have. As of this day, stand and know that this is your season to live. Not all death come to break your baby. 
Not all deaths come to stop your life. Some deaths come just to free you from hell. You better speak, Apostle. It comes to free you from the demons and the devil and the witches and warlocks and the ones that don't know control this witchcraft. So when the next time you want to rule and control somebody, just know you a witch too. You're no different than your work. And I'll say today, it's your season. Baby girl, and you live it, and you live this thing with your best life. You live it, and you hold your head up and know that you're beautiful, and you did all that required of your vials, and you don't owe them nothing. And this is the word from the apostle on today. You came looking, but you didn't get what you really wanted. Amen. In the midst of life, we are in death. From whom shall we seek help? Our help is in the name of the Lord, who brings heaven and earth. God who raised Christ from the dead, who will give life to our mortal bodies also, through the spirit that dwells in you. Listen. I will tell you a mystery. We will not all die, but we will be changed. For this perishable body must put on imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortal. Then the saying that is written will be fulfilled. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where or death is your sting. But thanks be to God 
who gives us the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus said, Verily, truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat fall into the earth and die, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bear much fruit. Those who love their life will lose it. Those who hate their life in the worst world will keep it forever more. Whoever serves, whoever serves me must follow me. And when I am there, will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honor. Almighty God, into your hands we commend your son Walter J. Genret in sure and certain hope of resurrection in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. Blessed are the dead who dies in the Lord Yes, say the Spirit they will rest from their labor, for their deeds has been done. Let us pray. Eternal God, you have shared with us Walter J. Genret. Before he was ours, he was yours for all that Walter has given us to make us what we are for that him which lives and grow in each of us and for his life that in your love will never end we give thanks we give you thanks as now we offer Walter back to you Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Comfort us, we offer Walter back in your arms. Comfort us in our loneliness. Strengthen us in our weakness. And give us courage to face future unafraid. Draw those of us who remain in this life closer to one another. Make us faithful to serve one another and give us to know that peace and joy, which is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to... At this time, we will do the uh, military ceremony.
we're going to have the pastor of this church come and do the benediction. We're going to have the pastor of the church come to do the benediction. But before we do the benediction, I want to say a word. Look around you in all these cars and show you how much the community love Bubba. I ask you, Reverend Franklin James Bassett, Jerusalem, let's support this family. Let's support this family. I'm not talking about this family. Let's support the wife, the children. They are hurting. It would be nice if there was some medicine they can take and get over it. They can't. They can get over if you support them. I know you don't agree with everything. I don't agree with the weather. It should be sunny, but it's windy. But I can't do nothing about it. But all I'm saying, let's support this thing. Let's support her. the love of other life. Let's support the children. Those are the apple of God. Let us support them. And one final thing. No once in the Bible say, worry about it, stress over it, or figure it out. But over and over, it clearly stated in the Bible, trust God. At this time, we're going to uh, let the pass of this church closes out with the benediction. Pastor. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest and abide with these people henceforth and evermore. Let us now say amen, 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 amen. and amen. God bless you. Amen. Let us pray for the family and allow me to take all of our ministers with kind words and the uh, leadership today. Thank God so much for the life of all for such lives of all of us. We give God thanks for life, and we give God thanks for the wonderful family. And we'll have all of you, all the the rain and the wind, we thank you so much for coming and showing the family how much we love you. And we'll have the family, myself, my staff, thank you so much for allowing us to serve being you all and follow. The weather gets a little quiver, we're going to let you go, we're going to be beautiful way and play it after you treat it. We have some things we'll get to the family, like the head cap, we do this type of thing all the Also, I can thank the military, they came, they did the all the they can't be thinking so much for coming. May God be saying, bless you. I will try to play this one song at the end. As we depart, if I can get it going. You got it in there? Okay.